guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well and today's video is going to be a beauty bay and morphe brushes haul so uh, if you're in the uk here you'll know that beauty bay dot um, is it com or dot dot uk not too sure sell lots of like american brands which is great and one brand in particular for america that i've always wanted to try is morphe brushes like i just see lots and lots of my favorite youtubers using them and i've always wanted to get some so finally i managed to get some on beauty bay and i'm so excited and I cannot wait to use them so I have a bunch of their new ones and a few of their kind of classic brushes as well like I have a bag here stuffed of brushes that I cannot wait to crack open and use so yeah let's get started on the Morphe brushes and I'll show you all the new ones I do have okay so I'm going to start off with their newest collection and it is this one here which is the Gilded collection and these are absolutely stunning and I could not wait to get my hands on these when I seen a lot of my uh, when I seen a lot of the American YouTubers using these brushes I was totally obsessed with them and then when they finally launched on Beauty Bay I bought a bunch of them so yeah so the first one I do have um, is the biggest one which is the Y7 brush so I got this one because it looks like a dome kind of buffing brush and I really love using them to apply my foundations so I got this one here and I'm super excited for this because it just looks amazing the bristles on it feel so soft but still quite dense in a way that it's going to be great I think for applying foundation and really like being able to buff it in really well so yeah this is the Y7 brush that's what it looks like there gorgeous gold kind of colour and it says Morphe along here and then it has the number of the brush down there at the bottom also with this new Gilded collection they do have like this sort of two-toned bristles effect I think so even though there's black bristles in there there's some little brown bristles in it and some white bristles and then obviously it has a kind of more lighter top bit on it there and um, so yeah really do love the look of this brush like everything to do with it with the bristles the handle and everything it's just amazing okay so the next brush I got is the Y3 brush which is this one here now this one here I think can be used for contouring the holes of your cheeks and for setting your under eye area like that sort of thing I think this brush is really soft this one is not as dense the other one this one's a little bit more flexible and um, so it's great for probably get really getting in and buffing in the contour so yeah okay so next brush I have is the Y11 brush and this one is a more precise contour brush so you can really get in more precisely to the holes of your cheeks if you want to have like really sharp contour you can um get in there quite well and um, you could probably use this as well for your under eye area as well for setting that with powder or for blending any concealer i think it would be good for that as well so yeah that is the y11 okay and the last brush i have from the girl collection is the y13 brush and this one i've been most excited for because it's like this little fan brush and i only have one other fan brush which is quite a big thick fan brush from bh cosmetics so i was really excited to get a nice kind of thin kind of smaller fan brush which should be great for um, obviously applying your highlighter across your nose down the bridge of your nose your chin and like little bits around your temples as well apply highlighter there and um, so yeah looks quite nice for giving yourself a nice natural kind of dusting of highlight which it's great so yeah super excited to see how this one goes and i just love the design of it i think it's so cute so pretty so yeah that is the y13 okay so moving on to the other collection that morphe have and it is the rose gold collection which is fairly new as well i think it was out last year or something and um, but this is what it looked like here these two that i have and the first one i have is the r 36 brush which is this one here and this one I think will be great for applying highlighter more precisely on the cheekbone right there so I think um, yeah I think you can really intense your highlight with a little brush like this so yeah super excited to see how that goes and that is the R36 okay and then the other brush I have from the rose gold collection is the R14 which again is more of a kind of precise contour brush for the hollows of your cheeks and I really love the design of these rose gold ones as well with the black handle and um, the Morphe written in rose gold and the name uh, and the name of the brush written in rose gold and also this bits in rose gold and this one is different from the other Morphe brushes because they have like white bristles on it instead and um, which really stand out because the brushes are rose gold so that's what they two look like up close 
really pretty brushes, cannot wait to use them. Okay, and then the next ones I have are the more kind of popular ones from their Elite 2 collection. So I'll show you what these are. Okay, and the first one I have is the one that I've heard a lot about and I see lots and lots and lots of people using this. And it is the E27 brush. And yeah, I love the design of this one. It really reminds me of like those, um, what do they call it? Look good, feel better brushes. Like I love the kind of, the way the handle sort of goes a bit thinner here, it goes out a bit thicker there and, and again and then Yep, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I really do love the design of these brushes. Um, so this is the Elite 2 collection. So it's slightly different from the kind of the Elite collection, like the first Elite one, um, because the bristles on it will have like this two-tone effect and they have like little red tips on them, uh, which I think is really, really pretty. So yeah, so that's what the E27 looks like there. This one looks great for buffing eyeshadow into the crease. I think it'll be good for applying, you know, like maybe bronzer into the crease, your transition shade and stuff like that into the crease. And then the other one I have that collection is the E13, which again I've heard a lot about. And this is a kind of more flat eyeshadow base of brush. So that's what it looks like there. That's what it looks like. This one would be great for packing shadow onto the eyelid and yeah, super excited for this one. Okay, and the last brush I have is the one I was most excited to get from the Elite 2 collection and it is the E3 brush which is this one here. Now this one I was most excited for because I've seen a lot of people using this for setting their under eye area with powder, you know like sort of under here sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I really wanted this one. Out of all of the Elite collection, I really wanted this one because yeah, I thought it just looked amazing when I seen everybody using it. So yeah, that is the E3 and cannot wait to try that. The bristles in this one feel so soft, like the bristles in all of the Morphe brushes just feel absolutely incredible so soft and everything like that so yeah love this okay so i also have a few eyeshadows from the morphe brand and this is what they look like here and these two are quite similar in shade i have couture and i have infinity and beyond and these are both like um purple shades so this is what couture looks like here it's like a matte purple like a deep deep purple shade so there's a little close-up of it for you this shade I think is going to be great for the outer corner, giving yourself a really dramatic and smoky uh, finish to your eyeshadow. So yeah, super excited to see how this goes and I love matte eyeshadows, I just think they're so kind of easy to work with. So that is Couture. And then the other one I have, as I said, is Infinity and Beyond, Infinity and Beyond. This is what Infinity and Beyond looks like here and this one is more of a kind of shimmer. Like a, yeah, it's got shimmery pigments in it, shimmery pigments in it, and it is in a purple shade again, like I said. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. The Infinity and Beyond one looks great for your eyelids, and then the Couture one looks good for smoking out the outer corner. So yeah, looking forward to seeing how these two go together. I didn't bother getting the Morphe palette that they have, like the one that's like the empty palette, because I do have a Z palette here, which is I got from Beauty Bay a while ago, and yeah, I have a few shadows in here already from um, Makeup Geek and freedom but i've popped the two in at the bottom there so as i said i got that palette from beauty bay as well they sell the palette on there too okay guys that's everything for this video and that's everything that i got from beauty bay and morphe so i really do hope you liked this video and enjoyed it give it a huge thumbs up if you did like and enjoy subscribe to my channel down below if you are new and i will speak to you very soon in my next video bye Mwah.